Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in Portsmouth and I thought I'd go and check out a Marriott hotel. Now, I've actually never stayed in a Marriott hotel before, so this is gonna be completely new to me. Let's kind of look. Interesting about this hotel is that you've got a bit of a big entrance with this big overhang where I guess once upon a time, or it still does, drop cars off on a valet type thing or dropping people off, I don't know. You can almost imagine somebody standing out there welcoming you into the hotel. The other thing I've noticed is this feels like when you walk into a, um, a service station off a motorway, this is very unusual. But this is the, the restaurant, Cast and Iron Bar and Grill, as you first come in. Quite nice. Little area over here. I'm not quite sure what this is about. You can actually see up to the rooms. Look at that. Grab and go and there's nothing there. So I've already checked in. Let's head up to my room. Let's go and check it out. We'll check out the bar in a little bit actually. See when you see these, these are like um, from what I would say really classy hotels when they put all the luggage in there and someone's a porter's pushing it up. Up to your room. Floor number two. I can't tell whether the hotel is dated or not, to be honest. Room number 202, let's go. Trippy hallway. Very symmetrical. Oh, I've gone past my room. Too busy looking at the hallway. It's not 202, it's 204. a very inspiring colour as you walk around the hotel and walk in the room but the first thing I noticed when I walked in the room is that and I don't pay any extra for that I don't know if this is a Marriott thing I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments but as I've never stayed in the Marriott before I don't understand that picture for some people they might not like that Anyway, this is my room. Yes, your eyes are not deceiving you. I did order a king. Apparently they're at capacity, so I got a twin room instead. I don't know why, but it always, and you're probably gonna laugh at this, but if I am sleeping in a twin room and it's just me, it kind of freaks me out a little bit. I don't know why. As I walk in the little hallway, huge big mirror there, this is where the iron is. There's no lights up here, so it's fairly dark in this bit. And what looks like some kind of loft hatch. Are these for hanging your coats on? Arty, on the... Uh... Watch if that door's open, spooky. Into connecting door. Now the gentleman on reception actually offered me a free breakfast in the morning, which is great. And he's done that because this wasn't the room they ordered, and also because it looks into the hotel. I've stayed at a few hotels where they're like this, but I don't know, it doesn't overly bother me that I'm not looking outside. I guess some people could be a little bit claustrophobic, but I kind of like it. What's going on? So this is a oh. so this is a like a porch, like a porch door, but it doesn't open the other side. Or does it? Does it? Oh, I can't open that, but <laughs> I've just noticed as I'm moving that the whole frame is actually moving. Kind of a nice view onto the restaurant, kind of like that. The room is pretty big, but also pretty basic. Check out this, this is huge if you wanna do a little bit of work. Obviously this is a bit more like a business hotel, the one that I'm staying in. So this is actually uh, really nice glass on the top. Uh, I can order room service with the QR code. I've got a notepad and a pen. And of course, the tea and coffee facilities. Couple of mugs, ooh, Biscoffee biscuits, very nice. You know you're in a posh establishment when you get Twining's tea. This table even comes with a couple of drawers. I do like this office chair though. This is um, very strangely comfortable. Bearing in mind this is a family room. There's only one seat <laughs> and one little table, an ice bucket, nice funky little chair, lonely little pillow. 
I was just traveling through Portsmouth and um, just came across this hotel and the first time that I've ever stayed in a Marriott. But this hotel is probably not the best place to come for um, a weekend away. It's more like a business hotel. Big Samsung TV, which is nice. And below, trusty safe. There's the hairdryer. Not soft clothes though. These are actually pretty old. You, you can tell they're showing their age. Got stains all down the side. We got a fridge. Ooh. Old hotel fridges. Must have been, I think, censored once upon a time, or maybe, I don't know. But I have got some still water. It's the thing, I'm seeing this in more and more hotels now that um, the water comes in cans. It's uh, apparently better for the environment. I'm assuming they're aluminium, obviously. Nice little fridge there. Let's do the bed test. Question is when you're in a room with a double bed and another double bed, which one do you pick? Well, I was gonna say nice and comfy, but you can definitely feel the springs on this. Is this one any better? I think this one is just, that's slightly a bit more comfortable. So I'll probably choose this bed. You can feel the springs on this mattress though. Is it a old mattress, a new mattress? They do have a mattress topper on there and a bit of a mattress protector, but because I've recently come back from America, the room is giving me American vibes a little bit. Very old phone, chest of drawers in the middle. Well, I've never seen that before. The Book of Mormon and a Bible. Is it right that somebody places these in here or is it the hotel? I get confused. Let me know in the comments. I don't know if you can see that the camera picks it up, but uh, interesting white splatters on the headboard. Uh, like the leather though, that is that is nice. And I thought I was seeing things with the pillows, but I don't know if you can see that. I thought that was like some, some blood or something, but that's just stitching. Is it a trademark pillow? The bathroom. Honestly, uh, the gray is a bit depressing. I'm not gonna lie. Very, Monotone, I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. Bathroom, nice size. A couple of glasses. Someone's been shining up all of this, which is quite nice. We have some soap, some body lotion. First thing that catches my eye is that. That doesn't look very good, does it? And also this. No! Oh, a little black curly hair. Considering this is supposed to be clean, there is a little black curly hair there, and there's a couple more around the bath. Shampoo, conditioner, shower gel. That's actually a pretty good clean shower head. And this is, apart from the little black curly hairs, the rest of the bathroom seems all right. Towels are a bit hard though. In fact, yeah, they're a bit coarse. Oh, we've got some extra towels down here. Maybe they're a little bit better. Looks like someone has already used my toilet roll. Well, first time being in a Marriott, I don't really know what to make of it. What I do like is the fact that I get a free breakfast in the morning because they gave me the wrong room. Not that I actually really mind. I mean, having a twin room to having a king room, does it really matter? Yes, not having an outside view, does it overly bother me? Not really. And if I get a free breakfast in the morning, I'm not gonna complain. I'll see you in the morning for that breakfast. Wow, that is super busy down there for breakfast this morning. Might give it about 10 minutes. No matter where I'm staying and which hotel I'm staying in, I've always got to have a cup of tea in the room to start the day. That was, of course, until you lot told me that people wash their underwear in the kettle. Try not to think about that. So I went down for breakfast just after nine o'clock and so it was a lot quieter then so I could have a good look see at what was on offer. Normally cost £16.50. There was a good selection on offer and actually I really liked the way it was laid out. It even reminded me a bit more like a five-star hotel. Yeah, it was actually quite a nice breakfast. Although this particular hotel does look classy, also does remind me that you're pulling up to maybe a hospital or something like that, especially from this entrance. I thought the night stay was actually really nice. It is actually quite a nice hotel, but I think this particular hotel that I, uh, I picked late last night was probably more based at business 
than leisure. I like the personal touch of that photo in reception as well of the, uh, I think it's the owner and the CEO. I could be wrong. I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments. The colour of the hallways and the room felt a little bit, uh, I don't know, depressing. The room was all right. Uh, the bed was very comfortable. But what was that photo all about? I had a shower this morning. That was the most powerful shower I've ever had. Don't forget, if you want to see more of my budget hotels, click here or here. Do give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.